Oh man, now what? Now I gotta fix the intro audio. Remember, safety first, routers unplugged. I used the straight bit to cut my recessed edge on the back of my um, panels. And here, right here, I'm showing you that I'm setting my bit a quarter inch deep and a quarter inch out. So the recessed setting for my LCD monitor I lay flat inside. And this here, I'm setting the fence back a quarter inch. So it's a quarter inch wide and a quarter inch deep. Here, right here, I'm going to get ready to cut my edge. Sorry for all the noise. If you can hear all the noise, I'm going to try to tone it out as much as I can. And as you can see here, I didn't quite have my edge all the way to the end, but I can just pull that little bit of piece out. It's no big deal. It's going to be on the back side anyway. And now I'm going to measure my 45 degree angles. Now you want to measure from the end of the 45 degrees because this is where, you know, the two boards are going to meet up to make that 90 degree cut so this right here is where you're going to start measuring from and my eyes, mine was actually 14 and a half so I'm going to measure back 14 and um, allow space for the half so the screen will sit underneath it so that's a quarter on each side all the way around and you know two halves make a quarter I mean two <laughs> two quarters make a half I'm sorry folks and right here is the part I'm speaking of because you can't put nothing in there that's where it's going connect and let's just measure up the monitor to see if it's gonna fit in there and if it's perfectly let's move on yeah and I'm going to use the Roman OG to make my inside cut from the front of my monitor and I'm going to set the depth lock it in Let's get the cut. You want to make sure you cut this on the same side that you put your recess setting underneath. These cuts are going on the same side. This one is in front and the other is underneath. Watch your fingers and wear eye protection. I'm sure you guys already know that, right? I'm not going to show you where I do all these cuts. You get the picture, but I'll show you a couple of more because sometimes it's a pleasure to watch people cut wood or make things, period. I myself like watching people cut and make things. But I'm not going to make you watch me do this whole project cutting. And this will be the last cut, folks. Alright, now let's uh, dry fit it and let's give it a test and see how it works here. Four pieces, two are the same and the other two are the same, so it doesn't matter which is up or down. And I did rush through this project, so some of my 45 degree cuts ain't quite 45 degrees, but I'll fill those in later with some wood putty, and I'll show you that too. 
but it looks good to me right yeah and as you can see here in that corner in the bottom corner over there and I'm gonna glue this together here and I did use um, some napkins just so my wood doesn't stick to the table underneath I can peel the paper towel off later and sand it but the paper towel is just so it doesn't stick to my workbench I'm going to go ahead and get all these glued up bit more glue there I kind of got a little bit off camera for my fault folks but hey I'm no professional this is raw footage all right before it all the way dries up let's make sure they're nice and squared up and it's nice and squared so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and I'll be back with you and this is what I mean by filling in those little imperfections of a 45 degree angle that I did try to cut I'm dry fit it once more and these are the pieces I'm going to use to hold the screen in. These are from the cuts that I made. Why not use every piece, right? I told you I use everything. Uh, something old, something new. And this will be my back side here just to protect my circuit board. And not only that, it'll give it a clean look. Now that it's dry, I'm going to go ahead and sand off the extra little wood. I'm going to go ahead and stain it up here. You know, this dark walnut color is my go-to. Dark oak, not walnut. Right, and after it had dried, I'm going to put on the sealer. This is what takes the longest, folks. I'm going to dust off all the little sawdust so I don't get it inside my, my seal. And I'm going to go put about two coats of seal on here. I'm not going to make you folks sit while I paint that whole thing. And if you got some of these right here, these are recessed screws. These are what I want to use. But I don't have any uh, too many of those, so I'm going to do what I have. Um, what I did do is I used that for my circuit board here and for the control boards. I put two here. And what I did use were some hook screws. And what I mean by hook screws, these are screws that if you want to hang something from the ceiling, you screw them in and it has a hook on the bottom. But, you know, this is just a demonstration video. So if you got some of those reset screws, reset screws, use those. But I'm using what I got here. And this is my back paneling. I finished it all, so let's get it all put together. And these here are the hinges from an old laptop that I've tore up. We're going to use that for support. And these less up and down, so you can, you know, do what you choose. Let's go ahead and get her set in in place and we're going to get 
our side supports put in that's just to hold the monitor in and protect the circuit board once I get it in get that inside of there all right perfect fit still nice nice okay now these right here like I said these are from the cuts I made before on this table saw when I cut my 45 degree angles you don't have to stain those I did and these little parts here I'm just gonna like use some double sided sticky tape to leave those those are not important only thing important is the control board and the inputs alright and got it all put together and got the hinges on as you can see yeah that's, you can say and those led up and down just like the laptop opens and closes you can set the angle to where you want your monitor to look so let's see how it looks looks good doesn't it folks let's get some hooked up to it and plugged up I actually think my Nintendo don't work anymore so I may not have nothing to plug up to it but as you can see it works well you can hook up whatever you like to it you can hook up a USB with some pictures on it if you want and hang it up on a wall. This will make a good frame for Hey, what's up YouTube? Thanks for watching my channel. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe right there. Check out some of my other videos and uh, peace out.